Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lalika and welcome back to my channel. I've never done this before. A, what did I spend on my holiday video? Considering how many I've had in the course of me having this YouTube channel. Interesting. So I have been in Wellington for five full days, which has been fantastic because my flight up was really early in the morning, so that's definitely a whole day. Like I was in the city by nine o'clock in the morning. It's been really amazing. If you haven't seen what I've been doing since I've been here, I've basically just been around the CBD a lot. <laughs> I've walked a number of steps every day, which is always good for you. I booked the night before I flew up. So definitely not the cheapest way to do it. If you want to see my flight review with Jetstar, please check it out. The link is in the description box below. $249 and that was with, I had to add on the way up because my carry-on was more than 7 kgs. So I added $12, $16 for the greater checked luggage and then on the way back I'm doing the plus package, plus bundle, so that I can get some status credits with Qantas with Jetstar, so that costs more as well. But that does include checked baggage on the way back. On the first day, I spent, my the first day was the most expensive, quite honestly. Actually, so my accommodation, I'm in an Airbnb, that's where I am at the moment. And again, I booked that the night before. Ah, it was 697 Australian dollars. I booked that through Qantas hotels and Airbnbs so that I can get some points. It's not many. It costs $5 for the airport bus because I don't have the swipey card thing and I don't know where to get it. I don't know where the machine is in the airport to make it really clear for any tourist that's not a Wellingtonian because why don't they have an app? Uh, <laughs> but also because it was before nine o'clock I think it still would have cost five dollars because it wasn't because it wasn't off peak. And I went out for breakfast because I was here so early so that was twenty five dollars that was including coffee. Paid another five dollars to go on the bus to Weta Workshop. I highly recommend going out there even if you're just going to the cave because that's the free bit and there's like a little movie which I didn't see. Ha, <laughs> means I have to go again. Nice, but I did the tour which was $48 and then of course coming back into the city so where do workshops out in Miramar which is kind of near the airport. I actually got on the same bus, number two bus. I guess it goes different ways. That I'm a little bit confused of. In the CBD unfortunately there's only New World grocery stores so you do need one of those little swipe cards again with the cards it's always with the cards in this country and i don't have any of these cards so it was the metro one which is closest to here so i spent 35 dollars on groceries that first day i came back from weta because of where the bus stop drops you i wandered around and did a spot of shopping because there were a couple of stores that we don't have in christchurch so i was like yeah so again, that would be something that you wouldn't necessarily do. Of course, that's variable cost. The same with groceries as well. Where I'm staying, there's a microwave and there's a hot plate. So I could have planned better in terms of the choices I made at New World. Because I've eaten more at breakfast, then I sometimes haven't had lunch on some days. So my food has been relatively, it could have been more. Also, because there's so many places in the city to try. I could have done a lot worse. Despite putting most things like the Airbnb and the flights on my credit card, I have a separate account, especially for a holiday. So I just need to flick it over. I just haven't done because where I am, I think it's a public Wi-Fi, even though I have a VPN, oh, which I definitely do recommend. So I can just flick it straight over. I'm not waiting on a page yet, I'm not spending money I don't have already. So my total for day one spending was $178 for day one. If I take out the shopping, $126. And as I say, you could do better than me with the groceries. On day two, I spent another $9 on groceries, but it's because I'd gone for a walk, I'd done the waterfront walk, which if you check out that video, the link's in the description box below. It's because I was at the other New World. Other side of town, I didn't want to buy stuff that was heavy because I knew I had to walk it all the way back again, so I only spent $9. 
and it was just really topping up slash let me grab a snack right now because I walked all this way and then I spent five dollars on a Lord of the Rings Airbnb experience which I definitely recommend I've never done one before for some reason it was on sale for five dollars as opposed to its normal 10 but I think for 10 it was a one hour zoom call and even if I was anywhere in the world I I thought it was really really well done and somebody that was on the Lord of the Rings film set clearly has such a passion for it. I'm gonna link it in the description box below. It's not an affiliate link. Spent on day two fourteen dollars and again it could have been less if I hadn't gone to the other new world it would have been five dollars. Day three I spent absolutely nothing. Um, clearly buy my groceries the day before plus the small breakfast that they provide here. I had plenty of food and I was just walking around seeing the sights which cost nothing. On day four I went to Te Papa because it was raining yesterday. There's a Gallipoli exhibition on at Te Papa. It opens at 10. It's a free museum anyway. That exhibit is free when the museum opens. I booked the, to start at 9.30 and there were literally three of us, including me. So for a war exhibit that is very profound, it was really nice to have that silence because at 10, when the kids came running through, because I'd just been reading panels and things by myself, so I was like, oh my goodness, there's noise. So I thought it was worthwhile doing it that way and Normally that costs $15, but with the link in the description box below, which is what I used, it was $9. If I spent longer than half an hour in there, there was a lot to take and there's a lot to see. There was a lot to read. I think it was really, really well done. Then I went to the grocery store just to grab some lunch, I think. So I spent $12 at the grocery store again. I actually went shopping again. There was another couple of stores like David Jones, because I really miss Australia. So I did do another spot of shopping. <laughs> so on day four I spent $190. If I take out the shopping, I spent $21. Again, because a lot of the sites that I was seeing, aside from inside stores that I'm shopping at, were free, like to Papa, like the Beehive. There are actually a lot of free things in the CBD so even though you pay a bit more to be in the CBD saves getting on public transport it is day five and I haven't spent anything today <laughs> again I was walking around there was a couple of sites that I wanted to see still again I did it on foot so cost nothing so in total over five days for five days I've spent $1276 which is a lot for five days and I think normally I visit cheaper countries if I take out the shop at $1055 and that's to stay by myself that's to eat I've eaten out once oh plus five dollars because I'm going to get the I'm going to get the public bus back tomorrow, so it's going to be $1,060 all up. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as I post new videos every week giving tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experiences. I think it is really important to be transparent with the cost of travel. Make different choices as a, you could do better with groceries, you could do better by booking in advance and get cheaper flights. Ooh, I forgot to say one thing that has saved me money if you like water carry your own water bottle this is the one that i'm currently using i'll link it in the description box below because it folds up so instead of having a bottle that takes up space in your bag the more i drink as i'm out and about then the lighter my bag gets and i it takes up less room because when this is empty then you roll it up so it's great and it's this is my first trip user because it comes with the hook then it can hang off any bag that you happen to wear like even my handbag I've hooked it on because in New Zealand the drinking water is fine I think everywhere so you can refill it anywhere there's also I find like in cafes and in museums and where else have I been in some stores they have water coolers or taps and you can just fill it up so 
this, even though this is this is 700 mils this bottle at the start of the day i know that i can refill it somewhere along the way drinks in new zealand are really expensive for what they are especially with cities i have a link in the description box below for book me there's a lot there's a few choices of different activities and it has the listed price like that's where i got my gallipoli kit from because listed is 15 dollars but on this website it was nine dollars so this is what new zealanders do use there's also grabone.co.nz which i've used i haven't used here in wellington but i definitely did look to see because they have aside from a lot of like stuff that you can just get on amazon or ebay they do they have experiences and activities and there's like beauty like if you want a massage or you know hair stuff those are kind of a pain because you have to book especially if it's so last minute but if you're more organized then you might get some really good deals there